So thanks for that introduction. Um, and I'll actually cut down on my time a little bit. I'm Thomas Hervey. I'm a geography PhD student at UC Santa Barbara. And this summer I worked with Brian and um, Mark Farah, who was here a little bit earlier. And I'm going to talk a bit about integrating notes and also about notes possible future. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I thought you were back there. Um, OK, so starting off on the right here, we have just an example of a note right outside of the convention center. Um, I don't know if Bryce is in the audience. That'd be pretty cool. But this note, unfortunately, hasn't been looked at. It's been three years. Um, so my plug at the end is going to be, what can we do to sort of improve the value of notes and possibly make it a discussion nexus for the future? Um, for those of you who are not familiar with working on ID, um, I learned quite a bit while I was using it this summer. Uh, there's a lot of D3 that's used. Um, it's used for drawing SVGs, event handling, and injecting the markup. And that's almost exclusively what was done for these notes, including the drawing, as well as the side bar that's pulled out here. Um, much like in OpenStreetMap.org and Jossum, you have an initial comment and you have an avatar, in which case you can actually follow the, the user profile. Um, if there were other comments, there would be a thread right below it, and you can go ahead and add new comments, close and reopen, and so on and so forth. Um, there's a handful of things that we're considering, and if we had some time to go over the questions at the end, I'd love your feedback. But some of the bigger ones are categorizing notes. Um, it's, they're a little bit of a mess, especially since a lot of anonymous users can contribute them. Um, we're also considering filters and also possible notifications to let people know that their notes have either been commented on, status has changed within the dashboard as opposed to any sort of emails like you have with change sets, um, and also plenty more. So here's just a quick demonstration of adding a note. Um, under the map data, you can now add notes directly under the data layer. I was checking to see what is going on underneath the center, because I haven't been here, and there's a lot of overlapping things. I noticed that the monorail turns into a light rail, so I'm just adding a comment to say, can somebody come ground truth this and see if this is actually the case? Go ahead and save the note, and it'll change the icon as of now, and then somebody can go in and see it almost immediately. But more importantly, we were, we were interested in trying to figure out what people use notes for. Um, and this is pretty crucial because if we want to improve their usage and maybe help with collaboration, we should see what's going on with them. So I took sort of a high level initial step into seeing what is going on with them. And there's been other works that have done more than I have at this point. But at this point, we have about one and a half million open notes, uh, two and a third million comments. Uh, about 13% of them contain the text maps me as well as an even higher percentage with other templated strings. So we know that notes are coming from a lot of different sources besides just through the editors. Um, I did a little bit of analysis on a 10,000 word English subset and looked at the keywords and some topics. A lot of it's not really particularly fascinating. It's what you would expect. Um, people talk about things that are missing, like roads and buildings. Uh, the topics focused on bus transit, roadway geometry, incorrect shop location, so on and so forth. What was a little bit more interesting is the difference between anonymous users and registered users. Um, a lot of anonymous users, which you could probably assume are a little bit more of novice editors, would highlight some sort of additions, things that are missing, or also maybe just misalignment with some sort of base imagery. Um, whereas the registered users looked at asking, can we ground truth something? Can we see if there's some sort of data conflict? And how has that changed in the real world, like with constructions being introduced? Um, and then a lot for tagging inquiries. What should I tag this as? You know, is there a preset that we can add for this? Um, so that's pretty interesting, in my opinion. We had set up a, um, a server just to take a look at where all the notes are and query on them. And this is just one quick snapshot of a subset of the notes from the uh, North American area. Most of it is what you would expect. There's a lot of comments and notes near where your populations are and a lot of change sets. But some interesting things are coming out that I'd like to look at a bit more, like there's a high number in uh, Oklahoma, Dallas, and northern Texas area compared to some of the surroundings in even larger cities. And there's a really large number up here in the Toronto, kind of over into Detroit area. So something else to possibly look at. So here's kind of the plug I have for you all at this point. Um, I think that notes are a good way to guide new editors, 
In addition to these other tools we have for QA, notes can serve as a sort of local environment for um, people who are new. Those who are not so novice, you can edit, you can organize your edits and your to-dos, as well as just start a localized ongoing discussion. Um, so I'd like to discuss more about this later and about the other contributions. Um, that's all. My last little plug here is Brian didn't mention that we are starting to kind of look at some of the QA tools that have been discussed already today. And um, hopefully Keep Right is going to be added to ID soon as well. Thank you.